Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free in Toulon, and today is a huge day, it's a very important day for me. If you watched my video in the past, I just recently made a video that the new super high powerful 730 CFM 190 mile an hour handheld blower, well it didn't start up this year and I didn't use it that much last year. So Ryobi contacted me and they said, hey, can you send that back to me? We want to check it out. They wanted to do some research and development because they want to improve their product. So huge shout out to Ryobi that they want to make the products better and they're actually communicating with their customers. They said, if you return it to me, we will send you another one. And I said, sure, why not? That sounds wonderful. This is what showed up. If you have not seen this before, that's because it's not released. <laughs> And that's awesome. At least for me, it's awesome because this is hitting the market soon. This is the brand new Backpack Power Pack Blower. Now, what this is, it is the same, a huge power 730 CFM handheld blower, but they have a power pack right here. Now, the power pack connects to the blower via a cable. Now, you're kind of wondering, does this replace the backpack blower? Well, it actually does kind of replace the backpack blower. Not in every sense that you have the fan on the back, but... The power pack not only powers the blower, but it can power just about anything. And that's what I'm going to talk about today, and we're going to test it out. So stick around. So this is the power pack. Now check this thing out. You open it up. And you can see right away that you have three different spots for batteries. Now this particular pack comes with two 6 amp hour 40 volt batteries. These are pretty big batteries too. But there's slots for three of them. So let's go ahead and throw them in. That's one, two, and I just so happen to have a 6 amp hour 40 volt battery that I previously had. Three. Now, as you can see, this provides a lot of power, and that is the solution for this particular blower because this blower is a power-hungry machine. I tell you what, it does not last very long. So you have your typical button here, then you got your turbo button up here. When you press that turbo button, you actually only have minutes a few minutes. I think mine lasted under 10 minutes or so when I did the test. You can check out the full evaluation on this blower. Incredible blower, but the runtime wasn't great with the maximum power. So this is the solution right here. Now this pack isn't just a power pack per se. You can actually charge from it as well. So well, let me just show you. So you pull the door closed and it closes. You pull it open, it stays open. Nice little hinge effect there. But if we look on this side right here, we can zoom in just a little bit. You have a little rubber cover, and that cover right there, the charger. Now this charger, the model number is OP40CS. It plugs into the wall in a regular 120 volts. And then it's got this little charger right here. Now this side goes up, as it says, and you just press it in, and it charges them. Now you're probably questioning how fast does it actually charge it? Well, let's check this out right here. So if we look at the charge times, you can see that the first battery charged, it took an hour and three minutes. The second battery, when it started charging, uh, lasted an hour and 11 minutes. That's how long it took to charge. And then the third battery, it took an hour and two minutes to fully charge. Now, it took three hours and 16 minutes to fully charge these batteries from zero to fully charged. Now, the cool thing about this is you can do that or you can use your rapid chargers. My rapid charger will charge a battery in about 30 minutes. So, you all are probably wondering, how does this whole thing work? Well, it works off of this right here. Now, check this out. This looks exactly like a battery. It's just an adapter, and if you look right here and we press the button, it shows you the battery life. So, it has a nice little display right here, and that shows you everything you need to know about all the batteries and what they have inside. Now, if you're first... <laughs> 
If your first reaction to this is, whoa, it looks like a proton pack from Ghostbusters, well, yeah, that was my same exact thought on this. Because they use those to kill all of the ghosts and everything like that. It's their most powerful tool that they have in their arsenal. So, I really wanted to take that to heart and check this out. I wanted to make my own. I ain't afraid of no gas. I don't need gas anymore. This lasts for so long, and I tested it out. All right, I'm going to stop geeking out. Let's check out the runtime on this thing. I had to do spring cleanup, and that is a great opportunity for me because I have to use the blower a lot. Now, if you all don't know, I have seven children, so that is a perfect place for them to play, so I got to make sure I keep it very, very clean. And I'll tell you what, I keep going, we're going, I keep going, and you know what, I'll tell you, um, I just didn't know when it was actually going to end because I'm not only using this on regular blower mode, I have the turbo button pushed the entire time. I'm trying to maximize the power to see what the runtime is actually going to be because if you're like me, you're going to use that turbo button as much as possible. I had a full 30 minutes of running this bad boy on turbo mode, which, believe me, before you have like less than 10 minutes. So it, this is the solution that we've all been looking for, and, and obviously they're bundling this together, so you're going to be able to utilize this a lot better than you did last year. Now, that's all well and good, and, I, and I'm so thankful that they fixed this issue, but you can use this on other tools. Now, for example, I use this on my weed eater, and I, I tell you what, I maintain, I have a 10 acre lot and I maintain about four acres of it. I think in the long run, this is gonna be a super sufficient tool because I usually go around and I have to change batteries out since I'm maintaining so much area. So this is gonna help my work efficiency go straight up because I'm not gonna be changing out batteries. It really doesn't make a big difference on my back. So guys, I wanted to check to make sure that this would actually work in the chainsaw. Obviously it will work, but a couple things that you gotta take into account. Whenever you're using a chainsaw, you have a lot of kickback, you have a lot of falling dangers, you have a lot of different things that you have to look out for. And you have to be able to let it go and just run sometimes, especially if you're cutting down a tree. With that being said, I do not recommend using this with any type of chainsaw because you gotta be able to get out, get away from the tree, get away from the danger, and you do not want to be tethered to this. So, just a point of advice and a couple things to look out for. So it's a good point that you don't use it on everything. Another thing I wouldn't use this on, I would not use it on the auger either. That's not something you really want to use this on because if you get tangled up or it starts spinning, that could be a really bad day for everyone. So, I think for the weed eater and I think for the blowers, this is a perfect, perfect power pack. All right, so let's put it on real quick. This has a few different straps that you can wear around it just to keep it a little bit more stable so it doesn't slide as you move around. This, uh, I guess, adapter, it actually has a hook right here so you can just hook it right onto your pocket without any issues. So we're gonna use the chest strap. We have the waist strap as well, and that keeps everything from moving around. So as you can see, it works out just fine. It's no issue, it's well supported. In fact, it's not that big of a deal for me. Now all you need to do is get the blower, put this right in as you would any other battery, and you can hold this down and it keeps it on. Press the turbo. So it really tries to take some of the fatigue on it with keeping a grip the whole time. Now, let's say you don't want to use the turbo the whole time. You're going to double your run time, so you're going to get probably an hour out of this running without turbo. But I use turbo all the time, so that's what I want to test this on. All right, everybody, so that's it for the review on this. For the awesome new Power Pack, Proton Pack, <laughs> or if you're like me, I like to call it the Electron Pack. I'm a nerd, I get it. But like I said, I'm not afraid of no gas. This thing's awesome. 
Now I actually have to get outside and I've got to go clear some of the old debris. I've got to get ready for my kids to play here in the summer. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I really hope to see you next time. Take care.